Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Mr. Cat here with Black Cat Resources. Today, we want to talk about our catfish water pump that we kind of debuted uh, about a week ago. Uh, really, everything's just commercial off the shelf stuff in order to make a pump that can just pull massive amounts of water. There's some other competitors out there that make uh, pumps that are already all put together. If that fits your needs, you, can, you should go for it. Personally, we did not have those needs. So with that in mind, we decided to try to build our own COTS commercial off the shelf pump to meet our needs. Uh, so today we're gonna be going on how we have everything in the bag and uh, kind of some considerations. So let's let's get into it. So we have our little goldfish, small little fanny pack. Uh, if you guys wanna see more on that, you can check out our post, but we have some cards, some iodine, a little multi-tool and a little a little map marker. Just, just some stuff that allow us to kind of take notes of everything as we're going. And then our H2GO, or purify some water that way. Just little things we have that we can toss to somebody else. There's some instruction cards in there so anybody can pick that up and kind of have a rough understanding of what they're doing. So to get into the pump, we have little zippers. These are not glow in the dark, but they are green. We painted them with some glow in the dark uh, paint. They do show up under night vision. I'll take a picture of them later tonight. We'll make a post about it so you guys can see how, how it looks under night vision. So when you first open the pack, you're gonna see the pump and the hose right here. Uh, on top, you have your little three foot section of hose. We'll take that, put that off to the side, open this up, pull out our big 25 foot hose. Here we have our, our strainer that, that, that goes here on the end. Um, this is bought at the hardware store. I don't know the name. I can't figure out who makes it. I can't find another one. However, we put another one in the cart for you guys to be able to use and see so you can make your own. Basically, it just has the strainer with a little mesh on the inside. So it's gonna do all the same things, just keep out large chunks of stuff. We'll put our hose over here. So as for the actual pump, we have the uh, rigid panel just held down by the shock cord that actually comes with the rigid panel, which allows it to pretty, it holds pretty good. If you're looking for something a little bit more robust, I'd recommend zip ties. Um, and if you're interested in creating some sort of handle or cage, uh, we haven't done that, but I'd recommend possibly using something like PVC or wood or just even use some 550 cord and make it a handle so it's easier to carry if you want to use it outside of a backpack, like say attached to a rucksack. So we're experimenting with a new type of battery. This is the battery we had was causing us some problems. This is the new type of battery we have. It'll be linked into our list. Here's some stats for it if you want to take a look. Uh, but we're gonna link that if you guys want to take a look at it. Significantly heavier, however, we hope it's gonna be a little bit longer lasting. As the, as the battery we had was losing charge, it wasn't getting it up to where we needed it. So, in order to set everything up, we've got our two filters right here. Water comes in this way and it goes out this way. There's an arrow right here, in case you forget. So, we're gonna... so the quick connectors are, go are gonna be pretty useful. Um, they're just, they're just quick pullbacks, that's all they are. So go to this side, pull back, put on, release, check it, and then it'll, it'll be connected. That saves you all the time having to screw everything on and screw everything off. So, do the same thing on the other side. Quick connector, pull back, and then it's right there. That way you don't have to spend 25 feet of garden hose around in the woods possibly at night, causing all sorts of problems. So, take this, go down to our water. And we're... Okay. So we got ourselves a water bottle here. Dump that out so we're nice and empty now. All right. And then come over, press the on switch, plug in. There's going to be another button we have to press for AC and DC power in order, order to actually run it out of the plug. Um, with that. So, this is everything straight out as is, just thrown in the shallow part of the water in a bunch of debris, 
it's not that bad it's got a little bit of material in it you can see it in the sun but again it's not not that bad you can actually take a look right there and see a little bit of material but that's perfectly treatable i'd say that's probably pretty good we get high volumes of water it filled up an algae in probably less than 10 seconds um you can fill up a five gallon water can not 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 doesn't take too much longer than that so with that being said we're gonna me measure with an app and then we're gonna run it again see how loud it is and uh, just to give you guys a decibel reading for it you're there five six inches away if you get further and further away it drops pretty significantly so really not super loud It works pretty good so if you guys have any questions let us know and uh yeah